story short we're in Canada like I know we didn't even like say we we're going to Canada but we're in Canada let's sit down and explain to you how we got here because it was a terrible was ride a shot show let's get comfortable all right so first off we get to the airport everything actually went pretty smooth we got this customs Security quick all that. all that quick actually wrong we get to the airport, you forgot this part. We get to the airport, we check in, we check in our bags, and the lady charges us for two bags instead oh, of yeah. one bag. Oh yeah, we have one bag. So then she's like, oh, it's it's quick. I just have to cancel this one, and then I have to charge you again. So she charged us 60, then canceled it, so 60 is pending in my account. Not a big deal, but still. And then charge us another 30. So that was step one. And then we get to our debt, like, like we get to the place we're about to go to the plane, and we're about to wait, we're like, oh, delayed an hour. Wait, yeah, in the waiting hour. I get a text message that says, uh, flight has been flight has been changed. To an hour. We're delayed like, okay, an hour. Okay, an hour, all right. Not that bad. No so worries. I let my cousin know, because my cousin will pick us up. So and, like, then, okay. and then 30 minutes later, another hour. So now we're delayed two hours. And then after One hour the, later. And then after an hour past that 30 minutes, so an hour and a half later, it's saying it's going to get delayed two hours. So we're in this airport, and it's like, it's like this little, like boxed in area with 200 Canadians. It, most well, of them don't speak English. Canadian most of them duck. don't speak English. Like, there's nothing to do. There was three restaurants. A pizza place that was trash. trash. It was a panini place that was trash. Not so bad, but trash. No, and then there no, was no, Starbucks. No, no, no. Was there's only so much you can eat at Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> we were delayed so long that, that they gave us free food vouchers after we just bought Yeah, food. we had just bought paninis. And then 20 minutes later, they're like, oh, they're giving away free vouchers. So once we get like, it, they right. said, and then listen to this. So first they were like, oh, here's the free vouchers. And then after that, come to find out that literally there was no food on the plane because I had to throw it away. Zero because they food. had it been on the food, the plane for too long. So then we had to like, okay, we have freak it. We have free vouchers. So let's just go get some more food at the airport. The thing is I had packed a lot, like a lunch for us, you know, like snacks, stupid snacks, like boogles and, and like Lunchables and like, you know, Nothing healthy. So we didn't have to buy anything in a perfect Ended world. up spending $50 at the airport. Because of how delayed we were. And then, and then, okay, so finally we got on the plane like six hours later. It's ridiculous. Ella, Ella was being a little bit of a trip. Because, yeah, she because was she was tired. It was around her bedtime. And we were supposed to land around 7, and we left at 7. Now mind you, Ella goes to sleep around like 7.30, 8 o'clock every night. So, so we finally land, and the gate wasn't ready. So that was another 20 minutes. And then, after that, I was like, okay. We're landed, we're finally here. What else can happen? It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm ready to go take a shower and get my clothes. I opened my suitcase. Oh. His side was completely dry and my clothes were like soaking wet. wet. This right now is gonna be a little clip of yesterday. Here I am <laughs> on the road again. So we're going to this waterfall, supposedly. And we could jump off big old rocks like 20 feet in the air. It's like a 20 minute hike. Oh boy. Look at his feet. No one's talking shit on camera. Look at his feet. Such a sporadic video. We apologize. Tell them, tell them the story about the gun thing when the guy with the gun and how he ran away from the police. All right, so guys, um, I'm gonna put a picture right now. Uh, we were on a ferry. We were like just like crossing the river. Not and it's cool too long. because to get to the certain part of town in Canada, you have to go drive your car onto this boat, and it fits like ten cars. And you literally fit your car. You go across the other side of the river, and 
bam, you end up in a whole other town. Yeah. So we go to this town where there's nothing going on. Like, Literally nothing. nothing. We couldn't find on. like a gas station, nothing. So we're just driving around, but it's beautiful. They have like vegetation. They have like and the houses are nice. Houses. The people like, that live there like are retiring, yes, and they're definitely they're, like I didn't see like, one cool. single person. I saw maybe one car. So whatever. We're on our way back to like to come back. To, Waiting in line to you know for the yeah. boat to come to get our ten people. Yeah. So. We're the first car in line waiting for the next ferry to come and out of nowhere so there was like this these two cops and this guy on the side and they were like um just like kind of talking right like i didn't even think anything was going on so this guy asked the cop hey can i go pee so then he goes the to cop pee. was like now yeah, mind you there was a bathroom right there so, so he went behind like this like kind of like wooden shack thing and my aunt's like why would why would they let him go pee there i guess he was like a captive, not a captive, a suspect? Like, they, they probably didn't know what was going on or whatever. Like, 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 we don't know the story, though. And we and we, we looked the next two days on, you know, Canada Channel 7. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But we couldn't find it. So, look, right? So, he goes to pee, and at, he's unbuckling his pants, and literally, out of nowhere, runs off. Dips. Like, runs Into this off. forest. And, and this whole island is just a big forest with a bunch of houses. He just jumps in the forest. These cops start running after him like crazy. But he's gone. He's yeah, gone. Yeah, and then honestly. finally our ferry comes, and as we're driving the ferry away, we see the cops like on the side wait, of the wait, water. You, the, the cop runs and drops the gun. He literally dropped his gun on the ground. So he could have dropped the gun, it could have shot, and he could have shot somebody else us. potentially. Literally us. It was like facing us. Like, it was crazy. The guy dropped the gun. So, whatever. We get on the ferry, and we see these cops, like, on the side of, like, the lake. In the water. In like, the water, like in the water, in their shoes, in, in like, their he's slacks. he's gone, though. He's gone. Anyways, that was kind of a crazy story. Like, I felt like I was in a movie. That like, was the coolest thing life. that happened, and nothing really goes down in Canada. It's <laughs> funny how we, how that was right, right in front of us. Like, that's, like, that's some Netflix original stuff. For real. Anyway, so we're home and we're back and better than ever. Uh, this month has been really crazy. It was my birthday. We were leaving last month. We left, so, but we're back. We're home now. And we're and gonna be filming. We have more much importantly. So if you videos. guys want more videos, more content, show us a little love. Hit the little like button. Hit the comment little subscribe down below. button. Hit the alert button. Let them know. And like she said, comment down below. You, if you guys have any crazy stories when you went out of town. Yeah. If you guys have any crazy stories, let us know. And we read we read your comments. We literally love hearing from do. you guys. Every time we see a comment, we get excited. Yeah, literally. We love you guys. And like always. Sorry for this video. <laughs> bye, Boogles. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Bye. Bye, Boogles.